sponsored by Jeans Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the official dealership of Life in Alaska. Hello, everyone. Welcome back in the Fairbanks Evening News for a Thursday. Beautiful day across the interior. Lots of sunshine and temperatures warmed up to over fr freezing today. And we're looking at temperatures even warmer tomorrow. Let's start off with our photograph for tonight. This was sent in by Carmen Leonelli. Morning sun rays. This was out near Allison Air Force Base. Look at the, these concentric circles there, or the half circle around the sun. Really beautiful shot. And then even further up, another nice shot there, too. If you have a photograph to share, by all means, send to Mike Schultz at KTVF11.com. Here's what's going on out the airport right now. 32 degrees, freezing. Our low last night, 26 below. One more night of cold air last night, not tonight. 53, 1940 for the record high, 37 below in 1925. Sunrise and sunset, 13 hours and 13 minutes of daylight, a gain of seven minutes from yesterday. Here's our satellite picture. <clears throat> a lot of energy moving across south of the Alaska Range, but that's where it's going to stay. This storm system here moving across over southeast Alaska. All of this is going to remain south of the Alaska Range because high pressure is building in, and it's going to keep all the storms from moving into the Fairbanks area. We'll get some residual cloudy moving in but that's about it what's going on across the rest of the state right now looks like some showers over around Kodiak Island cloudy skies at Anchorage nice weather across southeast Alaska cloudy skies all up and down the western side of the state sunshine around Barrel. the same for Fort Yukon lower 48 weather we'll start off with the Pacific Northwest and show you that uh, things are looking pretty good around Seattle 61 degrees there Portland 67 degrees all the way across the country over to the Northeast some showers around the Nashville area and uh, a few sprinkles around New York also to the uh, southeast we go. Things looking pretty good over the southeast. Then you move back into the deep south around Dallas. They're looking at showers and thunderstorms there. And out to the west, really nice weather. Lots of sunshine around Phoenix, 88 degrees. As far as our satellite and radar is concerned, you can see we're looking at a pretty good band of moisture moving across the Texas areas. So that's bringing the showers and thunderstorms. Not too real organized systems out to the west, so things look pretty good for the weekend. Speaking of the weekend, for Easter Sunday, looks like some showers over the west coast. Cold temperatures coming in from Canada once again, and then more rain over the eastern side of the country. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow for the northern sections, partly cloudy in Barrow, snow in Nome, the area, and cloudy skies for Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, not too bad. Nice uh, day in Fairbanks. Winds increasing near Healy. Could be up to 45 miles an hour. Keep that in mind. Over southeast Alaska, mostly cloudy for Juneau, but partly cloudy skies in Ketchikan. And over to the southwest, we're looking at rain and snow for Cold Bay, rain in Kodiak, and cloudy skies at Bethel. And in the south central regions, looks like some snow showers in Anchorage, rain and snow at Homer and 6 to 12 inches for Valdez. Okay, one more time this week for our kids' weather. This week we've been talking with the kids from Arctic Light Elementary School, but tonight we'll hear from the teacher. Hello, my name is Mr. Cromer, and this is my third grade class here at Arctic Light, and we have a weather fact to share with you. Class, did you know that a hurricane is so powerful that energy from the storm could power the entire United States for three years? Next week, we'll visit with the kids from Ann Ween Elementary School. One quick look at our road conditions. Oh, I guess we're going to talk about road conditions. We're going to go through our kids' weather again, accidentally. All right, anyway, our, our forecast for tonight is looking pretty good. As you can see here, we're looking at 2 degrees below zero, much warmer than last night, increasing high clouds into the morning hours. Tomorrow's forecast, 32 degrees, considerably warmer with continued cloudy skies and the five-day outlook. you got to love it. Temperatures right around the upper 30s each day and a chance of some snow showers for Sunday. Maybe. And then Wednesday, it looks like another better chance of snow shower activity there. And of course, the overnight lows will be once again very mild into the 10 to 12 degree category. Pretty nice uh, for this time heading into Easter.